Healthcare is a right. Today, 58% of all American debt is medical debt, and our sons and daughters deserve better. Most Americans agree that we need a Medicare for all, single-payer system. What stands in the way is lobbying from insurance and pharmaceutical companies. I meet people regularly who have told me that they avoid office visits when they're ill as they're afraid that they won't be able to afford the care they'll need. If people are having annual physicals and are going for office visits when they feel sick, it will avoid the expensive treatments for illness and disease, including cancer, down the road. During this past summer, I visited with residents of Forest and Florence counties two weeks in a row and ran into people in both counties that were wearing insulin pumps, and the cost for their insulin was $3,200 per month. Insurance paid some of their costs, but those individuals paid for a lot of it, and it eats up a large part of their disposable income. Tom Tiffany voted against lowering the cost of insulin, and that would have helped them. One of the residents I spoke with in Forest County was also a nurse, and she told me how there are medications that can help some of her patients, but she doesn't prescribe them because she knows they can't afford them. This, to me, just emphasized how broken our medical system is. We are a great country. We can establish a system that provides quality health care for everyone. On Wisconsin.